Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be using Billy's GM Publisher to upload our very own workshop add-on. Uh, this is a new tool that just came out that's developed by Billy. It has a lot of sweet things in it. Uh, today we're going to be focusing on the workshop portion of things and I'm going to show you how to get started with that. So the first thing you want to do is head over to the link in the description for GM Publisher. And if you scroll down here, you'll notice that there are a few things that you will need. For example, you are going to need WebView 2 if you're on Windows, which I am. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. And then once that's done downloading, I'm gonna go ahead and run that. And then we just wanna wait for this to complete real quick. Okay, now once that's done, you can go ahead and either click on click for downloads or head over to the releases section. And it looks like this was just released 17 minutes ago. So I'm gonna go ahead and download this real quick. I'm gonna get the Windows 64 zip. Okay, and I'm gonna open that up and then I'm gonna create a new folder on my desktop where I will extract this to. Okay, so I already had a folder created on my desktop with this tool in it, but I'm just gonna go ahead and delete it uh, just to show you what the process is like. I'm gonna leave this workshop image in. This is actually my personal image that I'm gonna be using today for our upload. And once we have that extracted and we've installed the prerequisites, we can go ahead and just open this up. And you may notice that you get a little windows protected your pc yada 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 i'm just going to run this anyway opening this up you can see that we have a few options here we have my workshop installed add-ons we have a downloader and then we have an add-on size analyzer i really like this i think this is a fantastic tool because you can actually see what is using up all the space on your drive for example these the server content here is taking up a lot of space i should probably go through all of this um anyways if we go over to the my workshop i'm going to go ahead and upload a scoreboard that i created in a previous live stream if you guys want to see how i made that definitely check out that video and you can watch me go step by step through the beginning of creating this scoreboard anyways i'm going to go ahead and navigate to that image you do need to note that the size is 512 by 512 pixels and these are the acceptable formats you can actually use a gif if you want i'm going to go ahead and browse to that there we go. This is a very simple thing that I threw together really quick. Does not look great. Doesn't have to. Then we want to go to our add-on path, which mine is in here. Gary's mod add-ons. And then we have simple scoreboard. I'm going to go ahead and select that. And then I'm going to call this dark RP simple scoreboard. And the type, let's just go with server content. And we'll say that this is for role play. And now we can publish it. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick. It opened up the add-on on my uh, Chrome here, but I'm actually not logged in. So I'm gonna go ahead and log in so I can view it because I do believe this is private. Okay, so now that I'm logged in, I can see the add-on here. Uh, we have some options here. I'm gonna go ahead and edit the title and description real quick. Okay, so I've just updated my description and I think this is good. Actually, you know what? I wanna add a link to my YouTube channel. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, there we go. I think that's good enough. And then all I need to do is just change the visibility and I think we're good to go. Public, there we go. So just like that, real simple and easy. I have my simple scoreboard on the workshop for anyone to download. Recommend you check it out. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned something from it. This was an awesome tool. Hope you guys have a great day or night.